All right, let's talk about the IUPAC naming of amines. So our amine group would be R N H two, and we could represent that by R N H H. Long pair of electrons. So this would be a primary amine. One R group bonded to the nitrogen. We could have a secondary amine with R N R H. This would be secondary amine. And we could have a tertiary amine R N R R. So I have three R groups bonded to the nitrogen. So this would be a tertiary amine. So when we start naming these amines, we want to have our nitrogen to have priority. So for this structure, this would be carbon one, carbon two, three, four, and five. So a saturated hydrocarbon would be pentane. Okay. We cross out the E and we want to add amine. Okay. Our amines are one of the lowest priority uh, functional groups. So if I have an alcohol, the amine would become a prefix as a substituent. But if our highest priority is the NH2, NHR, or NR2 group, then we would have an amine. So I want to indicate where my nitrogen is on the amine. So I could write one pentan amine, or I could write pentan one amine, or I could simply write just pentanamine. And that assumes that the NH2 group is on carbon one, okay? The second problem, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, I have seven carbons. So that's going to be a hip tang. I wanna get rid of that E and add amine. And our NH2 group is on carbon four. I could rewrite that as four hip. I could rewrite that as hip. Ten. Four. Amine. Okay. If we add some additional substituents, uh, it's going to take the same process. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have a heptanamine again, but the, I circle the parent chain. That's going to be my parent chain. And here are going to be my substituents. Okay, so I have a chloro on carbon five alphabetically. That's going to come first, five chloro. And I have a methyl on six, six methyl. And I have a hip. Tan and the amine group is on two, or I could write five chloro, 
six methyl dash two heptan amine. Okay. So all of these that I've done so far, these are all primary amines. These are primary amines. These examples, okay? When we get to an insubstituted amine, which is also known as a secondary amine, we have substituted a R group for one of the H's. Okay, so we could represent it uh, by this notation. So we have to include those as substituents. So here, that is a methyl group and it's bonded to the nitrogen. So groups bonded to the nitrogen we denote as N. So I have a N-methyl as a substituent. Okay, my longest carbon carbon chain is going to be one, two, three, four. So this would be a butane. I have to get rid of the E. I also have to get rid of the A because I have a double bond between carbon two and three. So that's going to become an E. All right, so I could write this as butane. 2 E N I have to drop the E and put one amine and what goes at the front is this N metal part so that would be N metal to account for that substituent Okay, if I look at this next example, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So I would have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that is going to be my parent chain okay now here in a box this is a substituent that's a substituent and that is a substituent so my longest carbon carbon chain is going to be a hexanamine on three so that's going to be let's write it this way three hex and amine okay now let's identify these substituents put them in a box again okay so I have a chloro on two so two chloro I have a methyl on four and I have a methyl on N So I'm going to put these two together and they're going to be dimethyl. So the number is going to come first. So I'm going to have four comma N dimethyl. So if I put this all in order, I have two chloro dash four comma N dimethyl dash three hex and a mean okay so this dimethyl states that I have a methyl group on the N coming from here and I have a methyl group on carbon 4 that's the 4N dimethyl portion remember number first then letter number first then letter okay if we look at this second one 
this would actually confuse some people but it should not okay we start our numbering here one two three four five okay so our amine group is on carbon two so this is going to be a two pentanamine And we have an ethyl group coming off of N. So N ethyl dash two pentanamine, or we could write N ethyl pentan dash two amine. Okay. We should be familiar with both constructs with respect to naming. All right. Next examples are going to be our NN substituted amines, and those are also known as our tertiary amines. So for hydrogens, the two H's have been substituted with R or other functional groups. And if we look at this example, this is going to be carbon one, two, two, three, four. So we have a butanamine Now we have to resolve the substituents alphabetically so we have one chloro we have n ethyl coming from there and then we have n methyl dash one Butanamine. Okay, if I modify that, let's take a look. If I modified and made this structure. Okay, so this is also a tertiary amine. Let's count the carbons. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is going to be a two butanamine. Okay, substituents here, substituents here. So that's going to give me a NN dimethyl because this is the parent chain here. And then I have a chloro coming off of four. So to put all of this together, I would have four chloro dash 
N comma N dimethyl dash two butan I mean All right, if we looked at some cyclic examples, okay, that would be our parent structure that would be called cyclo hex and amine. Okay, we have a substituent that's substituted and substituted on the nitrogen. So we would call it N chloro. All right. So when we have this, the common name would be aniline, but the IUPAC name uh, would be, if we had this structure, benzamine, So this would take priority. This would be your carbon one, two, three, four. So this is a branch. This is my first carbon. So this is actually a methoxy with three methyls. So this would be tri, Fluoromethoxy. Okay, that's coming off of carbon four, and that would be benzamine. Okay, if we look at this one, this would be one, two. This is a methoxy to methoxy. Benz amine. Let's look at this one. Parent chain. This would be carbon one, two, get to my substituent three going that way. If I count it this direction, one, two, three, four, five, I would get to the substituent at five. So that's why we went um, clockwise. So that would be three chloro. N ethyl bins I mean okay now let's see this one was this is a secondary I mean Okay, this airing group, this is secondary. This is actually tertiary. I mean, let's see, can we name it? Okay, so we know we have a benzamine
Now, this is in n substituted, so I would have in, I know this is an ethyl. Okay, so this is branched, actually, this is one, two. So this is actually N dash two chloro ethyl. So when I put these together, I would have N two chloro ethyl. dash in ethyl benzamine Okay, let's look at another branched example. Uh, just to make sure we're good. On these. Okay, so This is actually a branched molecule. This would be a secondary amine. Okay. So we need our longest carbon carbon chain. Here, that contains bonded to the nitrogen, I only get two carbons. If I go this direction, one, two, three, I actually get three carbons. So this. would actually be my parent chain. And I have to treat this portion as a substituent. Okay. So we know this is a propanamine coming off of two. So let's say two propanamine. All right, that takes care of what I have circled in red. Now here, I have three chloro. Okay, and in this box here, that would be one, two. That would be two chloro ethyl okay let's correct that and make that one two three so that would make my chloro on one. That would be correct. Because I have a substituent there. Okay. Now, when you look at things, you're able to. Uh, look at your reasoning in different ways and catch your errors. Okay, so this would be N2-chloroethyl, 1,2-chloroethyl, 
chloro, one, two, ethyl, coming off of N. Okay, that's correct. One, two, three, one chloro, one, two, three, two propanamine. That's correct. Okay, so I need to put this in order. So I would have one chloro, N, two chloro, ethyl, dash two propan a mean okay okay let's see if I can make one of these Alright, so this would be our parent chain here. Benzenamine. Have a substituted bromo substituent on N. So that's N bromo. And we call this one, two, three. So that's a propyl. One, two, three. But it's bonded to an O, so that's propoxy. So we have a chlorine there. So that's two chloro propoxy. That is the name of that branch, okay? And it is also in substituted. So that takes care of all of this. And this would take care of that. So when I put this in alphabetical order and complete the naming, I would have in bromo dash in open parentheses to chloro propoxy benzene amine Okay, so let's try some of these examples.
This one can be named several ways uh, that's acceptable. This one also can be named in more than one way, number nine. All right, try these examples uh, that I just made up off the top of my head. And see if you're able to do them according to the construct that we did. 